Okay, so in logarithm, in this part of logarithm, this teaching worksheet is focusing on a, a variety of real world context question. So the, the the main thing is because it's real world context question, the uh, there's different context, the phrasing can be very, very different. So some of you can be uh when you read a question, it could be like quite confusing or it may not make sense to you. Okay, so uh I'm trying to expose you as many um uh, scenario as possible, but the underlying technique that you will need will be the exponential equation using logarithm. That one has should have been covered in the third teaching worksheet, teaching worksheet number three. So in teaching worksheet number three, we got this section where we solve exponential equation using logarithm. So that part is essential. That one is the basic of the, it, we will need the technical part from there to in order to answer this real world context. So if let's say you're not very okay with that section, you practice that section first before you look at this context or else the variety of the context and the phrasing of the context is going to further confuse you. So my suggestion is you make sure your, your technical part in solving exponential using logarithm is okay first, then you try this type of question. Okay, so in the first example, uh, if you read the question, the number of bacteria, N stands for the number of bacteria in a pen, uh, in, in a petri dish after T numbers of days. So N is the number of bacteria. How many bacteria are there? So assuming we can count bacteria, of course. And then, uh, and it is related to the number of days. So they actually gave you a formula like this, if you take a look. So this formula, some students will be like, what, what is it? Why does it even look like this? So n naught is a constant. So the question says that n naught is a constant. So they could have used a k as a constant, but like they use n naught. So for, for a while, right, if you never see this kind of notation, you'll find that why, why do they want to use this con, con, uh, notation? So is there a difference between n naught and n? Yes. N and N naught, there is a difference. So N is the number of bacteria and it's dependent on the number of days. That means N is the values that keep changing. So it depends on how many days and N will be will keep changing. However, N and A are constant. N naught and A are constant. That means it's a fixed value that doesn't change. So you might want to think of N naught as like a constant K. But too bad they use the notation. So it's a proper notation that even O level will also use. So N and N naught, there's a difference. N is a uh, variable. It actually depends on the value of T. N naught doesn't depend on anything. N naught is a constant. Okay. So that's the first thing that you need to interpret for the formula. So if you couldn't even get past the formula, you couldn't answer the whole thing at all. Okay, so in part one, the initial number of bacteria is 17. So find the value of n naught, which is supposed to be a constant that doesn't change once you found it. So you need to understand the idea of initial. So initial means when you are just starting. So what is the idea of initial? So the initial means t is equal to zero. Means that when you have not even start. So it's not like after one day, it's not like after two days, it's actually zero days. So you got to interpret the idea of initial as t equal to zero. And you put in, uh, and the number of bacteria is 17. That means N is actually 17. So you need to be able to interpret this, that the initial is uh, refers to T equal to zero. 17 refers to the number of bacteria, which is N. So, so if you can interpret this, it's just very simple. Put the information into the equation. When you put the information into the equation a to the power of zero is one so it so you end up getting a n naught equal to 17. so you found the value of n naught uh that is a constant that means it wouldn't change already okay so after two days there are 68 bacteria. I'm supposed to calculate another constant. So interpret the two days 
and interpret the 68 bacteria. So how do we interpret that? That means when T is equal to 2, N is equal to 68. So while you are putting this into the equation, so you put into the equation, you can already use the N naught that you found in front. So you'll be 17. It will be A to the power of 2. So if you look carefully, it ends up like a simple quadratic. So A squared will be 68 divided by 17. So A will be A squared will be a 4. So A could be a positive 2. A could be a negative 2. So we are rejecting the negative base. Okay. So if the base is negative, right, you will find that the number of bacteria will be negative for odd number of days. Okay, think about it. So imagine this is a minus two. So for the T that is odd numbers, so for example, three days, then you find the number of bacteria becoming a negative value, which is not possible. So that's why we reject the negative value. Okay, so it so because of the two pieces of information, we find the two constant. With the two constant, the equation will be more defined. So I can change out the constant. So when you change out the constant, you also got to be careful. The way you write it is 17, and then it's a to the power of t. So t is the power that belongs to 2. t doesn't belong to 17. So if you don't write it correctly, you might find you got the rest of the question going wrong. Okay, so the next one, uh, so with the proper formula, I, I'm going to answer the rest of the question using the proper formula since I already found the two unknown. So for part three, the number of bacteria exceed 300 after K number of days. So exceed 300 means like more than 300. So the number of bacteria exceed 300 when the number of days is K. So you use the proper formula right now, change it to K. Okay, so uh, some students may want to do equal to 300 first. Some students may want to do it as bacteria 300 first. Then we see how many days will it be. So either way we'll do. So it depends on uh, whether which one you're comfortable with. So uh, I'm actually doing the greater part. So the technique will be the exponential. I got to shift the 17 over first. So when I shift the 17 over, then I'm going to do a LG both sides. So that's the technique that we used in the previous teaching worksheet. So you need to introduce LG on both sides. So same issue, you can bring down the power, which is what you're interested. Okay, so this one, if you punch calculator, you will see that it is a positive value. So if you're using inequality sign, you do need to bear in mind that whether this part is a positive value or negative value. So if this part is a positive value, when I try to divide over, there shouldn't be a change in the inequality sign. But if the log that you are dividing over is negative, so for example, log 0 0.3, you can go and punch log 0 0.3, you'll get a negative value. So if you are dividing by a log 0 0.3, it will reverse the inequality sign because the same the same principle apply for inequality. If you divide by a negative number, the sign will reverse. So from here, you can punch your calculator. And because they say that since k is an integer, okay, what is the integer after k greater than 4.14? So k will be equal to 5. That means you will expect the bacteria to ex uh, to exceed the count of 300 after five days. Okay, so that is a, in part three, we see a little bit of the technique that we um, saw in the previous teaching worksheet. 
Okay, so in the next one, we're going to predict the number of bacteria after six days. Okay, so predicting is just using that formula, plug into T equal to six, and I'm going to predict. So according to the formula, according to the formula, you will get 1088 bacteria. Simple as that, just punch calculator. So based on the formula, the formula is expecting the bacteria to be 1088 after six days. However, okay, you look at the last part, they go and do an extra counting. They do an extra counting and they found it to be uh, 986. So 986 compared to the 1088 as predicted by the it, uh, equation, it looks like there's such a great difference. Okay, so from here, right, you need actually, they will sometimes they will ask you for this kind of thinking question or explanation question. That's why it's a bit real world context. So you gotta relate to the context and explain. So in this question, they are asking why, asking for two reasons, why the actual bacteria is different from the number predicted by the equation. Okay, so let, let's try to compare first. The actual is 986. But the equation actually gave 1088. So there is a difference of, there's quite a huge difference to account for. So they are asking you, why is there such a difference? Okay, so one possibility could be, um, okay, remember it must relate to the context. The context is about the bacteria growing in a petri dish. So one possibility could be the counting of the counting technique. So maybe there is an error in the counting technique. Okay, maybe there's error in counting. In counting the bacteria. So that means it's like the person doing it didn't didn't count so accurately. They miss here and there, or the machine or the device that they use to count, count the bacteria is not very efficient. So you can come up with this kind of thing. So you just say something that is very logical uh, with, with, uh, relating to the con uh, context. Okay. And second reason could be uh, the equation. So this equation is an exponential equation. So exponential is like something like, later on you'll be drawing the graph not in this teaching worksheet, in the next teaching worksheet. So you will, the graph exponential will be going up. So we are, so based on the equation, we expect the bacteria to be increasing exponentially. But maybe the equation, right? The equation that is used to model uh, is only valid for a short period of time. That means right, it's only valid for like, let's, let's say maybe uh, zero to five days. So maybe it's not valid after five days because bacteria is something that uh, they can change or the condition, the environment will not allow the bacteria to grow so much after a certain number of days. So another possible reason why the actual values uh, is different from the predicted value could be the equation is only valid for a short period of time. That's why for six days, maybe it's already not valid. Okay, so that, that's one, that one could be a possible reason. So when you are doing this kind of real world context, right, they, they just use an equation to try to model something. So in this case, they try to use the, the equation to model the number of bacteria. Uh, if the behavior doesn't fit that model, then the equation will not be accurate. Okay. So in fact, right, uh, in one of the next further chapters, something called linear law, you also learn about modeling of data to a certain equation as well. Okay. So anyway, this one is just a, a real world context that's related to exponential equation using logarithm. So. This is one of the very, I thought it would be a good introduction to show you an idea. Okay, so there are more contexts that uh, I'll be showing you.
Okay, so before I go on, let me just emphasize that the this real world context needs your technique on solving exponential using logarithm. If you find your technique in this part lagging, please go back and revisit first before you do more questions. Otherwise, you'll find this part very, very difficult. And quite a number of marks can be assigned for this. This type of question, it can easily go to five, six marks just for a question like this, but in fact, a bit more. So that is the real world context uh, for logarithm.